Welcome Earthlings to the Base Ranger channel. Welcome back. This week you join me with my friend Frank's Yamaha BB2000, which we did in the last video. I'm not going to go back over that because it's a strange time in my life. Today I shall be looking at my uh, slap technique. Um, it's not, I mean, everyone's got their own way of doing it, and you're probably asking, why is this instructional video going to be better than all the other ones? And I can tell you straight away, it's not going to be better. In fact, in many ways, it's going to be a lot worse, to be honest with you. Uh, mainly because uh, there's so much information out there, YouTube videos, instructional stuff, that you can you could literally learn this stuff in a, a few weeks, a few months. Uh, when I was doing it, I had video, I had uh, records, cassettes, and that was kind of it. And it just took so long that all my other playing and all the things I should have been learning as bass player theory, soloing, all the melody stuff, all the, you know, the creative stuff, didn't bother, just learn to slap. Um, so that's why I'm going to teach you this, um, only because that's all I can do. So the way I started playing bass 1980, uh, and I first heard um, level 42, 1980, and I thought, my God, yes, bass. Before then, I was playing, uh, my, my heroes were Sting, uh, Jean-Jacques Bonnel from The Stranglers, um, very aggressive. And then I heard Mark King, and it was aggressive, but it was percussive, and I thought I could identify with it. the drums, the bass, they're, the, they're working together, they're the rhythm section. So I spent, uh, then I set about learning how to slap. Um, your, your basics, obviously, if you're thinking about a, a drum, drum kit, you've got your bass drum. And the snare drum. Um, and then what else do you need in a drum kit? You need a hi-hat because otherwise it just sounds very boring. How do you do hi-hats on the bass? Well, um, your thumb has to do a bit more work and you have to do a bit of dampening with your left hand. Um, so hi-hats would be Why would you even start a video without it being in tune? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous, Alex. In fact, it was in tune when I started, but these are new strings. So they've gone a bit bendy. Um, so yes, bass, drum, snare drum, hi-hats. Now, if you're a drummer, you don't want to just play with the same beats all the time. You want to put in some fills, and that's where the triplets come in. Triplets are like a drummer's fill. How do you do a triplet? Good question. Um, the way I do mine, and a lot of people do it, um, so you hit the string, open, dampen it um, with a slap back, hit it again. I'm sure you've seen this hundreds of times people showing you. I'm just showing you because I've I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm not bored. Uh, I just said last time that I was going to do this video, and here I am. I'm doing it because I was sitting there um, playing on the PlayStation, and I thought, oh, I haven't done a video. Um, so yes, triplet. Sorry, I got off the track there. Um, so hit, dampen, hit, pluck, hit, dampen. Hit. I don't mind my saying it. You can see it. Now slow, it sounds awful, it doesn't sound like anything, does it? And unfortunately you have to start slow and then build up as you go. Obviously the rhythm changes as you speed up, um, but that's the basic technique of a triplet. And then trying to incorporate it in, into your bass line, um, that's the harder part. Uh, 
And then, like you saw this then, you can move this, because in E it's easy, and you can move this thing around. So you can make it a little bit more, bit more percussive, a little bit more interesting, uh, and you can move this thing around. But you have to keep your thumb going, like the, as I was saying before, like the, the, the hi-hats. Um, and then there's another triplet, which you start on the G string or the D string, um, and you hit, you pull it, you hit slap back, and then um, you hit the string, the muted string. Again, sounds very dull, doesn't it? Uh, but once you get up to speed, again, takes time, muscle memory, all that. That's your other triplet, well, the, my other triplet. Uh, and then you can move this finger around. Uh, you can stay there if you want, or you can move it around. to other strings when you get a little bit more uh, dexterous with it. Harder on the A string. Um, now there is a, another triplet. Um, should I do that? Yeah. Uh, we use, oh sorry, uh, use two fingers. Oh, come up a bit. Oh God, I can't do it. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm bothered because I can't really do that. I haven't slowed it down. I didn't even prepare that one. I'll show you next time on that one. Um, so the two main ones that, uh, that, as I say, for most of the stuff that I do, and to be quite frank with you, I mean, even if pe people don't want it in the band, I put it in just because I've spent so long trying to do it. They're going to have it. They're going to have it in their band if they want it or not. And most people don't, so I get sacked quite a lot. I don't. Sometimes. Um, uh, the band I'm in at the moment is a Style Council tribute band. Uh, and it's 80s and you, you, I can slap in it, so it's kind of good. Um, so just to recap, that's the first one. Hit, dampen, hit, pluck. And the other one is pluck, dampen, hit. Now, all well and good in E, but sometimes you, you're not playing any, are you? So you have to try and learn how to do it in other keys. Uh, so that's the basics of it. If you've got any questions, uh, drop them in uh, the comments down below. Like, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, do all those. Th I say this every time and I always forget what you're supposed to do. I mean, I'm not very good at this YouTube malarkey. Um, oh, and I think I was better with Frank and that's why I, I've invited his granddaughter to come and appear with me in the next video. Barbara, she'll be coming um, to do the next video with me. She's a fantastic bass player. 
Um, unfortunately, she's got kind of felt hands. So, I mean, she's a fantastic bass player, but it sounds awful. I mean, I've seen, I've seen what she can do, and she is very good to a degree. In theory, she's good. In practice, not so. Anyway, she's coming in the next video. Um, so I hope you learned something from that. You probably haven't, because as I say, there's plenty of other videos out there that are much, much, much better than mine. Um, but it's it's a Easter Sunday. I haven't got my daughter, a little bit bored, and I thought I'd do this video. I haven't really prepared for it, as you can probably tell from this video. I haven't done any preparation, and it's a little bit weak, to be honest with you. And if I was to, I'd have switched off quite a while ago. If I was watching this, and I'd got about halfway through this, I'd go, oh, next, uh, what is he waffling on about? Every time, every time I come to this channel, he waffles on about nonsense. And I thought this time there's going to be some technique here. He's going to show me how to do something and he's waffling again. I'm waffling now. Anyway, see you next time. I don't know what I'm going to do next time. It won't be Barbara next. She'll be in one after that. I'll try and do another bass next time. Um, a friend of mine's got a, a Federa Monarch, Victor Wooten Malarkey. I'm going to try and nab that. Uh, so see you next time. Be safe. Don't be a stranger to the bass ranger. I said that without any, uh, a little bit of irony. Not as much as I've said before. I'm getting used to saying it. Don't be a stranger to the bass ranger. Thanks again. See you next time. I'm going to put my thumb up because it's been a slap video. I'm going to put it up. Ready? There you go. See ya.